This is the story of the runaway pancake. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. And, and it starts with Auntie May, who decided to cook a pancake for her lunch one day. So she went to her pantry and she got down everything that she needed to make a big round pancake. She got flour and eggs What's and that? butter and milk and sugar and salt. She put all the ingredients into a bowl. But what shape was it? It was gonna be round. She beat all the ingredients into a batter, poured the batter into a patty cake pan and put the pan into a hot oven. Now, children, listen carefully. You must never, ever, ever cook a pancake in a hot oven, and my story will tell you why. While her pancake cooked, Annie Mae did her household chores. She dusted, she swept, she vacuumed her living room rug. When she turned off her vacuum, she heard a muffled sound in her kitchen. So she went into the kitchen to see what it was. The sound was coming out of her oven, and it sounded kind of like this. It sounded like, hey, hey, let me out of here. Let me out of here. Like, what is that? So, so she went over to the oven. She grasped the handle on the oven door. She opened it just this much, and bang! Oh! jumped the runaway pancake. The runaway pancake had two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. He had a kind of naughty expression on his face. He looked like this. He rolled across the kitchen floor, across the living room floor, out the front door, across the front yard, out the front gate, and off down the road with Annie Mae chasing after him, saying, come back, come back, you're my lunch. And the pancake answered her with a little song. And this is what he sang. No, 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 I'm too fast, you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan, I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, and he rolled along with Andy Mae chasing after him. Pretty soon he came to an old dog named Trey, lying by the road, chewing on a bone. An old dog tray looked at that pancake and said, Mmm, pancakes go good with bones. You're going to be my lunch. And the pancake sang, No, 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 no. I'm too fast. You're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I got away from Eddie Lee. I can get away from you. And he rolled along and he rolled along with Annie Mae. And now, old dog tray. Chasing after him, pretty soon he came to a cow out in a hayfield chewing on her cud. And the cow took one look at the pancake and said, Pancakes go good with cud. You're going to be my lunch. And what did the pancake say? No, 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 no. I'm too fast and you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I got away from Eddie Bay. I got away from old dog Trey. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, and he rolled along with Andy May, old dog Trey, and now the cow chasing after him. Pretty soon he came to a donkey in the tall green grass. And the donkey looked at the pancake. He brayed real loud. He said, pancakes go good with grass. You're going to be my lunch. And what did the pancake say? No, 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 I'm too fast, you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan, I got away from Andy May. I got away from old dog Trey. I got away from the cow in the hay. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, and he rolled along with Andy May, old dog Trey, the cow, and now the donkey. Chasing after him, pretty soon he came to an old wolf, all gray. The wolf took one look at the pancake. He licked his chops and he went, nom, nom. Pancakes go good with chops. You're going to be my lunch. And what did the pancake say? No, 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 no. I'm too fast and you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I got away from.
from any maid. I got away from old dog trade. I got away from the cow and pig. I got away from the donkey's bray. I can get away from you again. And he rolled along, and he rolled along with Annie Mae, old dog Trey, the cow, the donkey, and now the wolf chasing after him too. Pretty soon he came to a big brown bear sitting next to a honeybee hive, licking the honey from the honeybees off his big round paw. And the bear took a look at the pancake and said, Pancakes go good with honey. You're going to be my lunch. Well, he's right about the honey, but he's wrong about the lunch, because what did the pancake say? No, 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 no. I'm too fast. You're too slow. I got away from old dog Trey. I got away from the cow in the hay. I got away from the donkey's bray. I got away from the wolf all gray. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, and he rolled along with Andy May. Old dog Trey, the cow, the donkey, the wolf, and now the bear chasing after him. He rolled along. Rolled along until he came to a big hill. And he huffed and puffed up that hill. That's right, just like that. And halfway up the hill, he came to a big old oak tree. And lying in the shade of that big old oak tree, just taking it easy, keeping cool on that hot afternoon was the sly old red fox. The pancake rolled to a stop, caught his breath. He looked at that fox and the fox eyeballed him. And the fox smiled and said, you're going to be my lunch and the pancake threw back his head laughed heartily and sang no 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 i'm too fast you're too slow pan pan pancake pan i got away from eddie b i got away from old dog tree i got away from the cow in the hay i got away from the donkey's bray i got away from the wolf all gray even got away from a bear today And the fox said, I beg your pardon. And once again, the pancake sang, No, 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 I'm sorry, pancake, said the fox. As you may have heard, foxes are a trifle hard of hearing. Uh -huh. Perhaps if you roll a little closer and sing a little louder, I might better grasp your meaning. <gasps> so the pancake rolled to where he was only one yard from that fox's snout. And a little louder, he sang... No, 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 I'm sorry, pancake dear, said the fox. I'm afraid I still can't hear you. Perhaps if you roll a little closer and sing a little louder, I might better decipher your declamation. <gasps> So the pancake rolled to where he was only one foot from the fox's snout, and a little louder he sang. No, 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 I'm sorry, pancake darling. I'm afraid I still can't hear you. Perhaps if you roll a little closer and sing a little louder, I might better apprehend your expostulation. <gasps> So the pancake rolled to where he's only one inch from the fox's snout and as loud as he could, he sang. No, 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 I'm too bad. Um, the fox ate the pancake with one enormous gulp. And you'd think that was the end of the story, wouldn't you? 
Well, it isn't. Because the fox looked up, and what do you think he saw? Auntie May, old dog Trey, the cow, the donkey, the wolf and the bear, sweating and panting, hungry and tired. They were so angry at that fox for eating their lunch that they chased him out of that forest where he was never seen or heard of again. And you'd think that was the end of the story, wouldn't you? I know. Well, it isn't. Because if you pressed your ear up to that fox's tummy, you could still hear the runaway pancake because the fox had eaten him whole, you see. And the pancake was still singing his song, but it sounded a little different now. It was a sad and a slow song, not quite so cocky, not nearly so arrogant. And the words were different too. This is how the song sounded now. Dear, 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 I am eaten up, I fear. I ran and I ran as fast as can be. I got away from any man. I got away from old dog Trey. I got away from the cow in the hay. I got away from the donkey's brain. I got away from the wolf all gray. Even got away from a bear today. But that sly old fox is the end. And you'd think that was the end of the story, wouldn't you? I don't. Well, it is. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you.